All right, how's it going, everybody? I am the Emerald Raider, and I'm joined by... The Jado. And where we last left off, we were just uh, coming into this uh, part of Act 1. We are about to finish up Act 1 with this area. We see some <laughs> undead over here that uh, needs some killing. And uh, I did go ahead and switch out the headband of intellect for the Grimforge home. I think that'll just help out better with what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and say hello to these freaking peeps. Wait, don't I have a scroll for the undead? You only get to use it. You have a yeah. You got a special power and stuff too. We're, you and uh, Shadowheart and Gail and Raider are really good. Uh, oh, not Gail. No. Nah, well, I mean, I guess he's decent, but we specifically are really good against the undead. See if, can I learn that? Real fast, I want to see if I can learn this scroll. Wizard level is too low. What level spell is this? It's a level four spell. So as soon as we get to level four, I'm going to try to learn that from the scroll. These things have stayed interesting. Because I realized that if we had learned the scroll that brought shovel. Oh, they are not interested in speaking whatsoever. Mm -hmm. They're level three ghouls and level four shepherds. What the? Go hover over them again? How many life points do they have? Just 22. No, no, 42 plus 20. They, What's that about? Yeah, 20 out of 20. They are resistant to everything and immune to poison. Necrotic veil. Deathly miasma grants the effective entity 20 temporary hit points. While the affected entity has temporary hit points, it is resistant to all damage except radiant damage and cannot be turned. Okay. And dead ward aura, allied and dead within nine meters are resistant to bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing damage. That's great. It's a good thing we're so good against, uh, oh, he can't cast any spells or speak. It's a good thing we're so good at dealing with the undead because these guys are powerful undead. We should probably wait for them to come to us then especially since there's stuff to disarm so i'm gonna go ahead and have gail put up some daggers in a choke point ah very nice what happened to you it set off the repulsion mine and blasted me back that's fine that's probably better actually <laughs> and uh is there anything else i can do nah i don't need to do any of that so yeah that's it for gail Come into our web. Oh, it's sneaky. It's smart. Little bastard. Oh, that one. Stench, huh? Ew. <coughs> Nothing happened to that one, huh? Nah, you are up. You can... You can, um, uh, rage. Can I? Yeah, but I don't know if you want to use this, uh, divine damage on them. Is that before the rage? After the rage? It costs an action and a bonus. Your rage costs a bonus. And when you rage, you can't use that anymore. Although I don't know if it's worth to rage first. I don't know. Well, if I'm doing this, I, I would be doing damage. Ugh. That, that helps you stay up, though, and there's a lot of them, so maybe rage. Rage. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I can't do it anymore. I'll well, do it on the next You can still do the one. onslaught if you want to go hit the two up top. It's that one. A colossal onslaught. What? Yeah. I think you gotta be up close to them though. Wait. I come up here, right? Uh, yeah, like around there. Wait, what's that? What's that red arrow? That's him gonna hit you, so you might wanna yeah over there first. Not not don't use all your movement. Just move to the left slightly. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then you can. Right here? Yeah. Oh, can you get all three? Ooh, you can. Let's do it. Oh, that was so cool. Nice. Well, let me and do it again. You can attack again. Oh, can you move in between those two? I think you can cleave. Right here? Yeah. Just these two, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Which one? Which one were we hitting? We we're hitting this one. You you almost knocked out his whole freaking uh, extra health. Nice. Extra health. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. You know what would be really good for you to do? This one. Yeah, with your radiant. Oh wait, what? The radiant damage version, not the necrotic one. Oh, so it's this one. Yeah, it's just you just a... click it, and then you choose the radiant one. Can I go up there to get all three of those, or should I? You, you can walk a little bit up, not enough for him to hit you, and as long as it touches him, it'll do the damage, and then you can walk up to where Karlak is. There we go. And then walk up there? Yeah, toward, toward where Karlak is. And I don't even think you need to worry about being in melee range, because you got your shield and you got your, your mace, and you should be good with those. So right here? Yeah, just up up close enough to hit both Heading there. there we go you killed one and you ser and not seriously hurt but you took out the extra health of the other okay and if you want to back up you still can yeah let's let's do that a little bit how far you know what you can do you can actually start walk making your way to the right so if those bastards try to avoid the daggers they can't avoid your your, your circle right okay you're good Oh, this guy's coming up now. That's a ghoul. That does nothing to it? Should've. Hey. Yeah, it took seven radiant damage. Oh. It's all up next to me. Um, Gale can handle that thing. I want to get up here. Yeah, I was worried that would happen. Because I want to make sure I, I'm going to get in Inquisitor's Might. Quick? Yeah, I'll do it after. And then I'm going to smite the shit out of this guy. Why is it so hard to hit him? Because you're crossing the path of the daggers. There we go. I smacked him real good. I don't think I need my other smite. It's a good thing I didn't use it, because... You missed. <laughs> Ooh, did it hit you? It did, yeah. I'm going to get in between you guys. All right, Gale, it's time for you to m nut up. Although this fireball is really looking pretty good right about now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Or you, this one is looking even better. What do you think? Um, well, I don't know. That'll probably kill kill those off, to be honest with you, because they're so low in damage. I mean, in life points. But just be careful to not hit me. Fireball. Answer's always fireball. <laughs> All right, Gail. Now you're yep. gonna wanna. Can you even get up here? So Gale has Misty Step and Misty Step Plus. So he's got it, Misty Step as a, a spell, but he also has the uh, Misty Step amulet, I'm pretty sure. Oh. So it doesn't cost him a spell. I want him to get away from that thing, but it doesn't look like he can actually. <laughs> nope. Why don't you just. Yeah. Um. 
Nah, fuck it, Gale. Stand firm. You got a shield, bud. Yeah. Back. Lock him up. Oh, wow. Yeah. And think of charm. Yeah, do that. <laughs> nice. Ooh, nice and miss. All right, Thinking you're up. cloud. Oh. What was that? Nauseous? Can't take any actions. Oh, it tried to make you nauseous. But you were like, fuck off, I'm not nauseous. Okay, so I can't do that again. I have to take another short rest. Ah! Leave. You can lacerate them if you want to make them bleed. <gasps> what? Wait, what? It's showing the body under you. But what happened though? Oh, he saved against the bleeding. Okay. Main hand attack or reckless? Uh... Ah, you're still not dead! What's this? That's a healing, and this one is also a healing, so you got two ways of healing yourself. Ah, I'm good. Right. Alright. Who else do we have? Just this guy? And the one back there? Yeah, the one's back there. Okay. Well, let's finish this guy out so we're not in danger when he... You can uh, walk first. Walk a little bit to your left. Not into the clouds. <laughs> um, You in my way. Maybe behind me? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can walk down to him and then walk over to him. That spell is so good. Right here? Yeah. A little more up. Okay. And then... Him. Yeah, you could Sacred Flame him, or you can Guiding Bolt the other ones in the back. Mm, I think it's better... I'm, I think I'm just gonna defeat this one. Mom, what is up with this kid? The frustration. They always survive on the one, huh? On the one. Just so you can end up using up an a freaking action. Unnecessarily. Un what the hell, dude? Undead ward? Did you just summon another undead, you little bastard? He revived the one that we killed. Did he? Yeah. Oh, man. I need a. I, I, sh I should have attacked that one. That was my. Divine sense and let's use up our other big smite on this fucker. Chinga the way. Now hit you with another one. Hey. He survived on one. <laughs> Is it because of the sacred defiance? No. It's, it's it's just it's been happening the whole game. The whole game. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna back up <laughs> to cover this cover this bit here so at least they can't come through to hit you guys they have to stand and fight me stand and fight you or go through the daggers it's getting ridiculous all right um you don't need to do anything s special to be honest with you you don't uh, well, you don't need one, to no? use the level one spell but you can just use the level one spell to make sure those two die and uh Oh, he might have just teleported the one that was behind him up to here. Oh. There we go. We just got one left. And he died to the daggers. Fucking Gale right up like, hey, hit me, cloud of daggers. <laughs> Why did Karlak just walk through the cloud of daggers? Because I switched to Gale to make sure he turned it off so that nobody would <laughs> through the cloud of daggers. <laughs> How do we get rid of that stench, though? It was on the corpse. I don't think it's on us. There we go. My lesser he healing has got us. Half plate armor. Mm, nice. It'll be good to sell at the very least. If we can find a merchant somewhere around here. 
makes sense that they wouldn't have anything. Oh, All right, Gail, um, go ahead and take back one of your... Ooh, I can take back another third level spell to make sure I have another fireball. I think I'm going to do that. There we go. And you know what? I think we found it. Oh, what? Not enough space? What is... Whoa, there's a big old chest in there. This is bullshit. Dead zealot of the absolute. Oh, it killed the absolute's men too. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to reanimate one of these bastards, but they won't come up. <laughs> can reanimate a dead Gith Yankee, maybe. I could speak to the dead zealot of the absolute too. You're gonna reanimate it instead of just talking, asking it question. Yeah, so it could be our friend. Okay. I could do a ranged combat one or a melee combat one. Which one do you think is better? I do not know the difference, to be honest with you. Ranged is bow and arrow, melee is, is punching. Um. Do range. Okay, ranged. Cool. Ooh. Got a homie. Took all the meat off of it. Oh, that was a level three spell. Okay, cool. Let's get going. <laughs> Speak to the dead. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who are you? Where did you come from? What were you doing here? Who killed you? Where did all these undead come from? Who are you? Samuel Stocksford. Devoted servant of the Absolute. Where did you come from? Moonrise Towers. Oh. Where we're going. What were you doing here? Following... Orders Thorm of General Thorm. What order? Thorm was the fucking guy who was down there in the Sharon Temple mm -hmm. long, long ago. What the hell? Well, we can ask who is General Thorm. I want to know where the undead came from. I summoned them. Oh, maybe Why? they didn't kill him. Fight oh. against. Oh, the Kifyanki were attacking? Attack to Wow, this is the most talkative one. Time uh huh. <laughs> for the others to escape with Raven God. Oh, they had Will's dad. Oh. Where is Raven Guard now? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Dang it! The spell's power went. No, those were all good questions. questions. Yeah, that that was actually the first time that we had more good questions to ask than not, you know? Yeah. Ooh, heavy plate armor. And a halberd, but my halberd is better. Maybe we'll find out from that note. It is called a missive from something. Duke Ravenguard is to be delivered unharmed or mostly so immediately. Moonrise Towers cannot fulfill its destiny until the Duke has been delivered. Those who succeed will be rewarded. Those who fail will face first my wrath, then Gortash's, then mine again. General Ketherick Orm. Gortash, huh? That one must be important. The Absolute's forces have taken Duke Ravenguard to Moonrise Towers. A powerful asset. Just what are their intentions, I wonder? Indeed, Raider, indeed. Oh, they killed a squirrel. Oh. They, were, they were hunting, I'm guessing. Do the Gith Yankee not want to talk? 
the corpse from silent. Apparently not. No traps, please. And they got so much good shit on them. That one was a drow. Very well. Can we get anything from that chest? No, huh? Opulent chest. Yes, we can. Whoa. Fold. Fold. Fire resistance, which is eh. Cureless focus. Being charmed, magic can't put you to sleep. Replaces effects of other elixirs until long rest. That's actually a good one. And then hill giant strength. Cool, cool. So is this the way to... Moonrise Tower? That looks like some cursed lands if I've ever seen them. Yep. So what do you think we should do? Should we explore? I don't think we should go down there, actually. Not yet. I think... The Shadowlands are uh, Act 2. I was going to say, should we explore around the outside, around the outside, around the outside <laughs> first? Or <laughs> or should we go try to head over to the temple and explore the temple a bit? Oh, I don't know. Maybe going over this way may... Broken. Need to find another way. Yeah, I guess we can't really even go through here yet. So yeah, let's Gale. go to the temple. I mean, not Gale. <laughs> you can jump, Raider. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, is this lady a salesman? I forget. A lady. <laughs> the one that wanted the egg? I don't <laughs> What news of our little project? Have you found the egg? I want to trade. Very well. But I'll make note of how much time you waste trawling through baubles. Happy are we? Very well then. Alright, so we're all done with that now. I went ahead and bought some new clothing for Karlak. That should help her out a lot. And uh, some new gloves for Gale, which will help with his damage. Let's go ahead and explore the temple, huh? It's this way. More for me. Some balsam. I think we read that last time we were here. What's down here? A broken bridge. Oh, we can actually go down there if we want. That's a long way and down. jump. Okay, so that's the way down there, but we can also use that, so I don't know why we would we would want to do that. We can't go down the Yeah, line? Yeah, we can. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know why we would want to do that. Go this way. Yeah, we don't. It seems like a trap if I've ever, ever seen one. But we didn't detect it, so... Oh, we're good. Arrow of lightning. You just got a bunch of random arrows? Okay. What's in that bag? What bag? Yeah, that bag. Not a bag, it's a bedroll. A what? A bedroll? Oh, a sleeping bag? Yeah. Don't they just say cast. that? Maybe not. Oh, that's why. <laughs> uh, sure, let's use a hill giant strength. Why not? Make sure we pass this. <laughs> mm. Nope, didn't help. What do you... What's this trying to do? Damn. Completely stuck. I wonder when it was used last. Come on. Just trying to pull the cart back up here. Uh, wow. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Only because I think it would be funny if he succeeds. Where are you, potion? You had another one? Yeah. I can't use 
use this at the moment. <laughs> wow. Love it. My. Quite the workout to get this moving. Must have been ages since someone last used it. Looking ahead. <laughs> oh, I thought it was like you literally just get on the zipline, like zipline down. Oh, like Assassin's Creed? No, we don't want to burn our hands off. <laughs> Slow down. That is hilarious. You two should be ashamed. <laughs> Yeah, this place is very pretty. Vices. You know, pleasures of the flesh. Oh my god. Met a Lamara demon who married a mountain, though. It's a thing. <laughs> I think the thin air might be getting to you, Carla. Oh, Shadowheart. <laughs> well, how is all this? Silver amulet, poison the greater healing. Raid, Raider Elixir of something. Pilgrim's Prayer, Pilgrim's Prayer, Pilgrim's Curse. Good morning, Lathander. I suppose all mornings for you are good. You making them up out of all bright bits of night and getting them shine worthy and such. I have two new boys, Luke and Elliot, and I should like them to see lots of your nice setup. So if you would watch over them, I should be most thankful. I am poor as muck, but have some heart left to give. That which has not been eaten up by the boys and their mum. So that bit is yours if you keep them seeing sunrises. Thanks, Harrison Field. Okay. Pilgrim's Curse. Morning, Lord. You never rose up over nothing. You're just a effing sham. Like all God's dirty, stupid animals. All of you. Red and pigs, red and pigs. Wee wee. You ain't got ish on absolute. It's beautiful. It's going to F you like the cheapest horse. Okay. Wow. So absolute people have been around here. Dear morning, Lord. Are, and you are a dearie. I mean, I just had the grandest time. Sure, I was honey. I wouldn't have trouble getting down a hill. So warm and good, I feel. I've been headed here to pay you homage and beyond on other business for some two odd months. And every mile has unearthed more and more kindnesses. For example, when my sleeping world was infested with bed bugs itching me disagreeably. Morning, Lord. I have no qualms admitting it. A woman gave me a spare of hers and it was toasty warming of a night. And she with two Two children of her own to tend. Anyway, thanks for pouring your honey heat over each and every day, cloudy or no, here for a lone woman, barefoot and smiling on the on the long road. Okay, wow. interesting. So just straight up three arrows, what the hell? <laughs> oh right, I got this from no not deed of ownership. There's another one, yeah. Yeah, this one from the lady uh who we bought stuff from. Call for adventures, exploring the nature versus nurture debate. The Society of Brilliance is pleased to announce an open call for adventurers to participate in a groundbreaking research project examining an, the intriguing and enduring question of nature versus nurture. The aim of this project is to investigate the relative contributions of nature versus nurture, nature and nurture in determining characteristics, traits, and outcomes. Our hypothesis, a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment will rise above its inherent nature to become a productive and progressive member of society. Society. Your contribution. We require one Gith Yankee egg, one unhatched and in good condition, taken directly from a Gith Yankee crash. Generous payment will be provided on successful completion of the task. Please, please contact Have Kellogg at the lodge for further details. Okay, so that's the quest, but again, I don't think stealing their baby is going to be in the cards for us. No. Where are we going? I guess we're still exploring the outside of it. It's just, uh, we're starting from this end. Why are those weird noises? I don't know. I have a feeling we'll find out. <laughs> this is the way we could have taken. 
not gonna go over there for a berry bush. <laughs> Are you sure that's all there? That's all that's there. Wait, what? Oh wait, this is going down. Huh. This is going down and toward the temple. I think I want to go up first, actually, because I'm pretty sure if we keep heading this way, that's probably where the Githyanki are, right? Uh, probably. Because we did see Githyanki around here, and I know for a fact uh, from the first act, this is the way to the Githyanki crash because... Uh, ooh. It's a silence for one turn. Nice. Because uh, uh, when you don't kill Lazel... <laughs> uh, she gets answers and learns that the Githyanki are somewhere around here. Yeah. But since uh, the Githyanki are such nice fellas, as we've learned, I kind of want to <laughs> prolong how long we uh, don't make contact with them as much as possible. Although it doesn't look like we're going to have a choice, because it doesn't look like we can actually go up. It looks like we can only go down. Really? We can't climb those rocks? No. Oh. So I guess we're going this way. Oh, there's one of those waypoints. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, we can go up here. Sh sure, sure. <laughs> Let's go up here. We couldn't have gone, up, gone more up the other way? No, huh? I don't know. What the hell? Okay. I mean... Yeah, fuck it. Let's not take the front door. Let's just go in through here and see if they don't mind. This is exciting. Uh, just finding new stuff. What? Who are we fighting back? Someone crying. Okay, I was going to say they mind, but no, it doesn't look like it's Githyanki. It looks like they're cats. Ramishka. What the f? That looks like a weird alien cat. They are not very strong, but they're dexterous as all hell. They oh, don't have much constitution. Attacking. Yeah, they don't seem too dangerous to me, so I'm, I'm okay with them attacking already. Why the hell are there a bunch of weird cats in there? Okay, our skeleton friend is going first, so <laughs> let's go over here then. Just fucking start shooting some. And start missing. Hey, you're gonna fit right in. <laughs> Ew. There's certainly a lot of them for you to <laughs> play with. <sighs> it's so weird. I did not expect to find little fucking cats in there. <laughs> as soon as they went all hostile, I was all like, okay, well, I guess we're not going to talk to any Githyanki. We're just going to kill everything. <laughs> but, uh... Ooh, if right it. Yeah, at least it's not the Githyanki. You're up. I don't think you need a... <laughs> Wait, they're unstable. Is reacting to nearby magic and has become unstable at the start of its next turn. It will trigger a random effect. Oh, it's allergic to magic. Oh. What does that mean? That's not good. Why? Some magical thing is going to happen. I don't know what, but it is. <laughs> uh, okay. How was I hitting two things at once? You don't have that anymore. Dang it. I just smack them around? Yeah, since you're not going to use your your um, rage. rage, you can do one of the two smites too, or I don't know if you want to. 
I don't think the smites are worth it. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're not strong. They're level ones. That's crazy. What? Seriously? You still missed? Wow. No, it's dead. Made me use a... Oh, I can attack again? You can jump into the room, too, if you want to. In here? Yeah. Yeah, probably best, though. There? Mm-hmm. Hey, you're up. You can try shooting it, but honestly, I think you could just smack it with your hammer and you'll be fine. But no. It still didn't die. Shadow Heart. What the heck, dude? I hate you. At least you hit him. Yeah. You can still push him. I don't know if you want to come over here and push him that way. <laughs> throw it? Oh, no, we can't throw it. You can push, yeah. It looks the only like it's way gonna I can fall, push yeah. it? Oh. oh no, it's not. It's just gonna go over there. Oh, it didn't even work. Blood comes easy these days. In fact, it does. I wanted to reposition so that I could hit more than two at <laughs> once. Whoa. Nine and nine. <laughs> oh, it actually got you. What the? Why did it decide to dash? Wait. <gasps> oh, its random effect was it turned into a big cat. That is a freaking cougar like thing. Panther. Panther. Okay, well, that's uh, that's certainly a concern now. At least the days did. Good job. Holy crap. Did that one do it too? No, that one just bit you. You're getting bit up over there. Freaking cat. Okay, well, it's still dazed. So let's... Wounding Ray its ass. Calm it down a little bit. You're up. Um, I think I should go over there. Nah, you're good. It's gonna be dazed for a bit. You sure? Okay. What's this? Will it slash both of them? No. They're Wait, actually this one's whittle, cool. whittle, whittling you down. <laughs> Faster. Ugh, you're gonna make me use both of my freaking attacks, you suck. Yeah. You can uh, use the pommel to hit another one. The what? It is gonna hit you if you do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These cats are fucking you up. You gotta click it again. Wait, what did I do? You took it off your bar. And your turn. <laughs> Hit the cat. Or <gasps> use a spell. Oh, you got the necrotic spell. Which end this one? That's a level oh, one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fucked cats. You didn't miss. Good job, dude. <laughs> Should I go over there? Yeah, probably so you could heal Karlak next turn. Alright, 
He will not be useful at all. He refuses. <laughs> tempest I will raise. You can have the kill if you want it. Might as well. No surrender. You didn't that you. There you go. <laughs> hey. Hey, why was there a bunch of fucking weirdo cats in here? Ew, their tails are ingredients like the ears of the other thingy. Mm-hmm. What is kobold looter? Kobold? There are kobolds in here? Nice. What kobold? You about to find out. <laughs> Best be on my way. Wits and blades always shut. Open this shit up. Open, shall we? I knew wow. you wouldn't disappoint me again. Elixir of necrotic resistance. That's actually pretty useful for facing undead. The missile commemorates the founding of Rosamorn Monastery. For my sins, it only just occurred to me that I had lacked in my record keeping of late. But then again, I know we have been busy. In our fray with the Sharon thieves, we retrieved the blood, but one of the her heretics sinned most heinously. They struck the amber and encasing his blood with a maul of pure void, damaging the most holy relic. As if we know of the this blasphemy, the exposed blood shone with an unbreakable radiance, reducing the Sharon horde to dust for us to sift from this now holy ground. The relic became far too unstable to carry back to half. Thus, we fashioned a simple chapel around ourselves here and have encased the blood within steel to be wielded as a most righteous cudgel against those who sit in shadow. To keep her from the lustful sacrilege of thievery, our simple chapel will become a great monastery and the blood shall be secreted away with a great many more wiles than it was before. I find it hard, hard to fathom that we left such an artifact in such an obvious open space to begin with. Alas, his light singes away the mistakes of the past, leading to a more fruit or fortuitous dawn indeed. I have the biggest smile on my face right now because the only thing I got from that was there's a nice know? weapon in here somewhere. <laughs> and something about filthy looters, which yes, guilty. <laughs> Ooh. Not so filthy. Because this was unsuccessful. <laughs> <laughs> No way. <laughs> you must have it. Try it again. Yes. I think that may backfire. What? It's 100%. Oh. It just uses a spell. An epic looking tome that opens with an illustrated panel of Don Master Vasade riding into battle against an army sh of Sharan clerics. In his raised hand, his trusted battle axe, its sharp edge glinting in Lathander's light. Yeah, Sharan, like the goddess that Shadowheart worships, Shar. Let's move. Yeah, but I don't like her or, sh or Shadowheart, so I choose not ready. to say it properly. Oh, okay, gotcha. Should I go back for those other two tales? Yeah. Never know how many you'll need for a potion. Or are there three tails, I guess? All right, so... This was an interesting one. All we really did was uh, make Gale do some exercise and kill a few cats. But <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and take a break. If you do, if you did enjoy the episode, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next one.